Imagine traveling on land at an incredible speed that is similar to the speed at which planes fly. But unlike airplanes, you can see the entire planet zipping by at the speed of light. Superconducting Magnetic Levitation, or SC Maglev for short, is a high-speed train system that has been making headlines recently. The Central Japan Railroad Company owns and operates the line. With speeds of up to 500 km slash, it is the fastest train system in the world, revolutionizing the way people travel. This allows people to travel faster and more efficiently, reducing travel time by up to 50%. For example, a trip from Tokyo to Osaka that normally takes around 2 hours and 30 minutes can be reduced to just 1 hour and 17 minutes using the SC Maglev. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at the SC Maglev's technology, history, and advantages over traditional train systems. So, without further ado, let's get started. The concept of magnetic levitation as a means of transportation dates back to the 1960s, but it wasn't until the 1980s that the prototypes of magnetic levitation trains were built. The SC Maglev was introduced by Central in 1987, and since then, it has become one of the most popular high-speed train systems in the world. The technology behind the SC Maglev is based on the principle of magnetic levitation. The train floats above the track due to the interaction between the superconducting magnets on the train and the electrical coils on the track. It's a dreamlike experience like you are floating in space. The train's superconducting magnets are cooled to extremely low temperatures, which makes them superconductive, meaning they can conduct electricity with zero resistance. This allows them to create a magnetic field that interacts with the electrical coils on the track, lifting the train off the ground and keeping it afloat. The same force that lifts the train is also responsible for moving it forward and keeping it in the center of the track for safety. During testing in April 2015, the SC Maglev beat two previous world records. It reached 375 miles per hour, or 603 kilometers per hour, making it quicker than the existing Maglev trains in Shanghai and South Korea, which reached 268 and 311 miles per hour, respectively. Additionally, the SC Maglev broke the speed record of Shinkansen trains. Analysts predict that one day we will see trains clock at the same speed reached by airplanes as a result of the proliferation of new technology breakthroughs that allow for increased velocity. While such a prospect may worry others, it does not frighten the Japanese, simply because the country boasts one of the safest metro lines in the world. Because Japan's Shinkansen trains have had no deadly incidents, citizens trust their metro line. The metro line is a source of pride for the people and has become a national symbol. The Maglev system's construction began in 2009, intending to connect Tokyo and Nagoya by 2027. The aim is for people to be able to travel between the two cities in 40 minutes, which will be far faster than flying or taking the present Tokaido Metro line, which takes 90 minutes to complete. The stations along the line will be Lida, Kofu, Shinagawa, Sagamihara, and Nakatagawa. As a result, the authority's long-term plan is to extend the line from Nagoya to Osaka by 2045. At the end of the construction from Nagoya to Tokyo, more than 80% of the rail tracks will be underground, passing across mountain ranges and huge urban centers. The project's cost will be around $55 billion. The SC Maglev is more efficient than traditional train systems. The magnetic levitation technology allows the train to run with less energy, which reduces fuel consumption and emissions. The construction of the SC Maglev system necessitates the use of specialist rails and trains, the construction of which might be more costly than that of conventional trains. The South Carolina Magalibi is more than simply a train. It is also a symbol of innovation and advancement in the field of transportation. It reveals what riding the train will be like in the not-too-distant future, and its continuing growth will only lead to even greater breakthroughs in this area. The SCMA JLEV ushers in a brand new era of transportation that is all at once quick, effective, and environmentally benign. It provides a response to the rising need for travel options that are both more convenient and less harmful to the environment. The people who support the SCMA GLEV think that the technology currently in development is the way transportation will go in the future. 
it is a common point of contention that SCMAGLEV travel is both quicker and more efficient than more conventional modes of transit. Because of its great speed, the SCMAGLEV can cut down on travel time, making it simpler for people to get to their destinations and allowing them to spend more time with their family and engaging in the activities that they like. The fact that the journey on the SCMAGLEV is both comfortable and productive makes it a more appealing choice for commuters as well as travelers. Traditional modes of transportation are seen to be less kind to the environment than the SCMAGLEV, which has led some supporters of the technology to assume that it is more eco-friendly. Because it uses less energy and has a lower overall carbon footprint, the SCMAGLEV is the most environmentally friendly choice. This can contribute to the improvement of air quality as well as the reduction of emissions of greenhouse gases making for a more sustainable future. Another benefit that advocates of the SCMAGLEV highlight is the economic benefits of this technology. With its high speed and efficiency, the SCMAGLEV can reduce travel time and increase productivity, making it an attractive option for businesses. While the SCMAGLEV train is a marvel of engineering and technology, it is not without its criticisms. One of the main criticisms is its cost. The construction and development of a SCMAGLEV system is expensive, and it can be difficult for many governments and businesses to justify the cost. Additionally, the high cost of the technology can also make it difficult for many people to afford to use the train, which can limit its accessibility. Another criticism of the SCMAGLEV is its infrastructure. The technology requires a specialized track system, and building this infrastructure can be challenging especially in areas with existing buildings and other obstacles. Additionally, the SCMAGLEV also requires a large amount of energy to operate, which can be a concern for those who are environmentally conscious. In conclusion, one final criticism leveled regarding the SCMAGLEV is that it is not as eco-friendly as its proponents have claimed it to be. Despite the fact that it consumes less energy than conventional trains do, the majority of the energy that it does consume comes from non-renewable sources like coal and natural gas. Additionally, the building of the track system and infrastructure for the SCMAGLEV might be harmful to the environment. Furthermore, the high speeds of the train can disrupt both species and ecosystems. In spite of these objections, it is essential to keep in mind that the SCMAGLEV is still a relatively new technology and that there is a strong possibility that it may bring about positive outcomes. It has the ability to completely transform the transportation business by delivering a mode of travel that is brisk, effective, and environmentally friendly. It is essential to keep in mind that the limitations of SCMAGLEV can be reduced or eliminated altogether via strategic planning and financial investment in alternative forms of energy. Overall, the SCMAGLEV is a strong technology that has the potential to make a tremendous influence on the world. Nevertheless, it must be properly reviewed and controlled in order to ensure that it is utilized in the most responsible and environmentally sustainable manner possible. And with that, this brings an end to our conversation on the SCMAGLEV. It cannot be denied that this technology has the ability to influence the direction that transportation will take in the future in a meaningful way. We would love to hear your thoughts on the SCMAGLEV in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting content. And as always, thanks for watching.